Hello everybody, welcome back to more Super Smash Bros. Crusade. Last time, we took on Classic Mode as Bowser, and this time we're doing Classic Mode as... If I pick him eventually, Gino. Because, well, unfortunately, this is post-commentary. Why? Because I have recorded this episode with the mic muted. Because of course I did. Why wouldn't I record the episode with the mic muted? Who... Who needs sound when they record their voice? I mean, seriously, guys, come on now. The good thing about this, though, we are cut past a little cutscene, not cutscene, so loading screen, so we can keep talking. I like, interrupted and forget what I was saying for, you know, the loading screen. Now, the thing with Gino is, all his moves have timed inputs. Like that uh, Gino beam right there, his neutral B. Well, if all the stars are lit up and you release them right then when they finish, it's a much stronger like it is right there. But I've noticed earlier when it wasn't like when in time it correctly, it was much weaker beam. It wasn't as long. Same with the smash attack. You have to hit the smash attack twice with correct timing to get the strongest version of his smash attack. Like a like a so he doesn't charge his smash attacks. So you have to time them correctly. He has smash attacks working. Like yeah, like that one right there. Like, those ones aren't. You hear a little sound effect, like, from Super Mario RPG. Like, you did the timed hit! Good job! You did the action command! And oh my god, this music, too. <laughs> this Shantae music. I gotta look this up later. Jesus. Cause when I'm, cause I'm recording these, I have the volume turned way down, so I don't really hear them, but this is like, oh my god. I don't need the volume turned down now, because it's not like you can pick up in the mic or anything, or it's not gonna distract my voice. It's not playing, I can just talk. Yeah, that's the side B right there. The little uh, shoot, his up B is the attack up. If you do it in the air, he does actually rise upwards, so it's actually an actual recovery and not just a stat boost, stat buff. And his down B is Geno World, it's like a rainbow attack. Oh no, the stuttering lag. Uh, I don't know if that's a problem with Movie Maker or OBS or just my crappy laptop. But yeah, as you saw right there, he actually rose up with his uh, up special. Also, his side smash is a uh, projectile, like Mega Man's as well. It's pretty good. Oh, almost. Oh, I did kill myself with that. Good job, me. You did it. You fucking did it, Geno. Oh, and that's a smash deck. Oh, that's a smash, final smash. Yeah, just watch. Just dance, you know. Yeah, see, that one right there was not as strong as the other ones. That, uh, special move. I don't think I actually even did the down special yet. Oh, there you go, Shantae. <laughs> she just got wasted. Also, it's kind of weird. We the same stage twice in a row, and both time, it re both times, we refuse to play any Donkey Kong music. Cause I think how the music works in this game is based on what characters are in the fight, and not based on the stage itself. Also, what the heck is this music, by the way? We went to the awesome bumping, as they think kids say, music of the Shantae, and I have this weird uh, magic Klonoa music. Which is like, what the heck is this? What, what is this nonsense? Anyway, we're getting beaten up by Rita right now, looks like. <laughs> getting our ass kicked. No, oh, no, he reflected the thing with the shield. Yeah. It's pretty good, neutral B right there. It's just me just messing around with his moves. Then, this is the first time I played Gino in a year since I did the original 10 Crusade videos I did way back before. Before they added, uh, not Ashley, before they added Shantae. Or the classic mode. Here we go. Look at Gino beam up. Look at Gino just blasting their heads off. Oh no. Oh no! Gino's getting his ass kicked. Don't worry, he'll kill them eventually. Spoiler alert, Gino does not quite suck. He's just kind of hard to figure out at first. 
Oh, we got his final smash. I'll see his final smash. I do. I think you timed this too. The Geno Cannon. I think it was actually called in game. Like in the Super Mario RPG, I forget what his actual name is. I don't think it's called Geno Cannon. I think it's something else. I don't remember. Might be Geno Blast. Because Geno Worlds is down B. I remember that from when he used to have voice clips in the original Crusade before he guess they patched that out. His voice was so terrible. It was so bad. Like I'd probably do an accurate uh non interpretation impression of his voice. He was like, let me see, he was kinda like this, you know? This is what Gino sounded like before. Gino World, Gino Boost, Gino Beam, Gino World, Gino World, Gino World. Gino. It sounded like that. It was terrible. It was so bad. Just, oh my god, it was the worst. Well, I guess that's Gino as a character now. I still haven't done his down special yet. This whole video looks like. So I can't really talk too much about that, but. There, right there. That nice sound effect plays. It means you did a smash attack to its fullest potential. Also, a little side like space there. We kind of just missed it, but it was kind of funny. Like, bah! Bah! Go blast him. There we go. Good job, Dino. You did it. You killed the Klonoa. Oh, goody. I think you guys are what's going to happen this. With this. It's almost as if I have a track record. A legacy to keep. All the characters. Uh. Well, I guess what we're just talking was doing the breaking targets. We can talk uh, since Smash Brothers Ultimate. So a lot of people are speculating him actually, Gino, to make it in. Into Smash Brothers Ultimate. But They're probably right actually. <laughs> I wanna put a count counter argument. The only thing I could think of is that he's over almost like twenty years old now. And very irrelevant. And only have one real appearance in the game. Other than like a small cameo. But those really don't apply anymore, at least not as much as they used to. Considering we've got a lot of this one appearance retro characters in. And he's also technically third party as well. But now we have like Simon Belmont and King K. Rool. There really almost are no restrictions. Because King but Simon Belmont actually hasn't really been. Actually, no, my Castlevania has been on 3DS and stuff recently, I guess, so never mind. But Simon himself has really been on Nintendo anything since the NES, so... Yeah, Gino actually probably has a pretty good shot. They seem to be going by the Smash Ballot and popular fan choices. So Gino probably is actually a lot more likely than you might think. A lot of people would say he's a lock. I wouldn't quite say he's a lock for sure. I mean, we'll know before the game comes out, because unfortunately they want to reveal all the characters. I wish they wouldn't do that. I really hope Sakurai was just lying, so that when there are characters we don't know about and they're <laughs> we find them in the game, like, oh my god, I had no clue! That's so cool! You know, we have a surprise for unlocking characters. No, I kinda wish we had that still, but I guess they're not doing that anymore, because they're good. Go milk the hype, man! The hype for Smash! One, go. Yeah, other than Gino, uh, some of the Echo Fires are people talking about, you know, Isabel, Shadow. I personally would rather have uh, Tails or Eggman be a character before Shadow. I feel like they are more deserving and more. Well, I want to say fitting because Shadow's moves that's really easy to, to put in, and he is also fairly iconic within the Sonic franchise. But I feel like Tails has been around almost as long as Sonic. Just one game, he wasn't in with the first one, and Eggman is just the villain of Sonic. So the villain theme going on, Eggman would be a pretty good fit. So I would actually love to see Eggman as a playable character. I don't think it'll be happening. Because he'll probably more likely end up being a boss character with one of his like, giant robots. Same with Dr. Wily, he'll probably also be a boss character. 
but I would love for either of them, most more so Robotnik or Eggman, whichever one I call him, to actually be a playable character. I guess speaking of Wily on the Mega Man stage, I had that crazy anime music again. <laughs> I have to mention it every time, because I always seem to forget it. I don't know why I forget it like almost every time I fight on the stage. But yeah. So yeah. Eggman. He's probably one of my top picks I want. Also, Porky Minch. I would love for Porky Minch to be announced for Smash Ultimate, and right after they finally announced their localizing Mother 3. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing ever. That will never happen. But look at that though. I was about to land, I deliberately went out of the way and missed the platform. At least that's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened. I was just trying to... I'm just being finicky with the controls, I guess. I don't know. Also on this stage for the third time now, I'm still not playing Donkey Kong music. <laughs> Whatever. It is the stage people go to when they don't have their own stage. Actual well, Ashley is here. I recently was playing WarioWare Gold a long ago. And they actually have... Other than Ashley, there actually are a good few characters that could make it, like, with moveset-wise, it's a smash. Also, you don't have the iconicness, like, enough, whatever, fan base of surrounding them. To really put them in. Like, Ashley does. Like, Ashley's most likely just because so many people want her in. And her moveset's really obvious, too. Because with her just being a witch, we don't have that, like, a pure magic user. We don't really have that in Smash. I mean, I guess you have Robin, but he also has a sword. We don't have, like, a sorcerer or, like, a spellcaster kind of character. We don't have that yet. But Jimmy T would be really fun to play as. Like, him just beating people up with different dance moves. Like, just, like, the disco finger world, the finger wag kind of thing. Not finger wag, no, like, does points upwards and points downwards and point back up. Also, the echo of Doc Lewis right there is pretty hilarious. I kind of just talked over that, oh well. But that's pretty damn funny. Yeah, like, he does, like, the walk like Egyptian dance or something like that, you know, that'd be really fun as a player as Jimmy T and just dance everyone to death. His final smash just brings out a disco ball and just everyone dances to the death. <laughs> or something like that, you know, it'd just be hilarious, it'd be so fun. He'd be, like, the best joke character ever. Same with, like, only same with, but Dribble and Spitz would also be a pretty good character fit. Like moveset wise, like the Saibi could be the taxi, kind of something with the Mario, and oh, not Mario, oh, Wario's motorcycle. Uh, they can also work similarly to like, kind of like well, how you would think like Rocket Raccoon and uh, Group would work if they would ever be in Smash, which they wouldn't be. At least not for like probably another five entries. <laughs> but yeah. You can have like uh, Spitz has like his bazooka or whatever. Like, Cannon he has, like launching them, kind of like Rock Raccoon would have. And uh, you have Dribble doing a bunch of strong melee attacks and throwing spits at people. That would be hilarious. He throws spits onto someone's face and he's just scratching them with his cat claws. That would be so fun. And they can work independently of each other too if you like toss them. Almost someone's kind of Rosalina and Luma, but a bit more different. And that Spitz would really do too much on his own. Other than maybe a few uh, melee attacks if you were also pressing A after you threw him. But to use actually his specials, you would have to have Spitz with you again. You know, that's, that's like a really good dynamic if we go for a really unique character of Dribble and Spitz. I feel. The final smash attack can turn the spaceship from Warrior Gold. Oh, it's not even the spaceship, just a taxi floating in space. It's hilarious, I love it. Anyway, it just become that. And then they have the, uh, Octozooka. That'd be fun. Uh, Cat and Anna were just makes I another mean, like, duo character, kind of similar to Ice Climbers, but if you use the hammers, you use their katanas, and use different, like, sword techniques. Like, it's not like some, it's the same sort of, some, ah, the sort of, oh my god, I can't speak, I'm getting... I'm trying to say the sort of same of similar moves. There's a lot of S words together. It's kind of hard to say. Like four S words all next to each other. Just Jesus Christ. How am I supposed to say that? I've kind of been ignoring the video, haven't I? I should probably be talking about the video. Right now we're fighting the middle dudes. Metal Donkey Kong and Metal who? Pac-Man. That's cool. We have Mock Rider as our partner. That's, that's cool, I guess. 
I mean, with a good thing about post commentary, I can just keep talking. I don't have to focus on the game. I can just talk and talk and talk. Just talk about whatever. Kind of spitballing things out there. Yeah, but can Anna though? They got the same kind of side B as Ice Climbers and the spinning swords instead of spinning hammers. The down B could be similar. They have uh, uh, cherry blossoms or like the build the petals for the cherry blossoms instead of the ice. They kind of have this one box to it. Kind of working some of the Mario's flood actually goes in both directions. Going on the ground, but in the air, it'll go in a single direction. Their upbeat could be like that uh, double slash kind of thing they do, the cross slash, they do for their assist trophy already. Except just scale down so you don't go all over the screen. Um, they, they could also work. It's just, I don't, we don't have actually that as much to pull from the actual games. There are another one, unless you want to pull from the micro games. Which, Wario well, actually doesn't pull from the micro games, surprisingly enough, for his moveset. So just having characters pull from the micro games too, that would work. Like Dr. Krygor, you have him do that. You have him have his robots fight with too, you know, that'd be fun. Now, I don't think any of the Wario char Warrior characters probably make it in at all. Unfortunately. But, you know, there'll be some fun ideas. Jimmy T might be my number one pick for Wario though. Next, maybe Dribble and Spitz. Jimmy T or Dribble and Spitz. They're like my two top picks. Also, just so we have more remixes of like Tomorrow Hill and Body Rock. You know, we already have Ashley's theme because everyone loves Ashley for whatever reason. Continue. Oh, I should probably talk about the other actually almost guaranteed character being Skull Kid. <laughs> that everyone thinks he can get in as well. And I also kind of think Skull Kid could get in. I don't know what his moveset would be at all. Unless he was to utilize the different masks from Majora's Mask, which I don't think he really would. It would kind of be strange with him. Like, imagine if you had Skull Kid, but instead of wearing the Majora's Mask, he put on the Deku Mask and became like a Deku version of Skull Kid. You know, that's the kind of thing I was thinking of, like with the Heavy Mask Salesman, if he ever made a character. If they ever made him a character, he would kind of be like that. Where you could switch um, different masks and become like a Deku Mask Salesman or a... Zora Mask Salesman, Gora Mask Salesman, and for his final smash, you put Majora's Mask and drop the moon on everyone. Which is also what Skull Kid's final smash is gonna be if he is in. Or he just transforms into Majora, and he does some crazy crap like that, or the mask itself comes to life and just does crazy stuff. Now maybe he used Life of Fairies, I'm not sure. He steals the Ocarina for a bit, so maybe he can use the Ocarina songs, like the Song of Healing. To recover a small amount of HP. <laughs> no, his taunt. His taunt shows me he plays one note and laughs. That should be his taunt. That would be the best callback, and this is hilarious. This. <laughs> I mean, that's not how he laughs at all. <laughs> that would be so funny. I would love that. It's like how Daisy's taunt seems to be Hi, I'm Daisy, and a variety of different inflections. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> uh, God. What else? What else? What else? Uh, that's really all I can think about for Smash characters. Uh, I know there's other popular Echo Fire choices. Oh, also the leak with Guard of War and Gothitelle. I mean, if they were to get every generation represented, it does make a lot of sense for those two. Just simply because they are the most, they are probably the most two similar Pokemon of any Pokemon. Just design wise, body shape wise, the same type. They all share a lot of the same moves. It will make a lot of sense for them to be echoes of each other. And Gardevoir being the main because Gardevoir is a lot more popular <laughs> than the Gothitelle. So I can see that. If you do a different Gen 3 Pokemon with another Echo though, or a Gen 5 with an Echo, it's not really that many choices. It's hard to think about, really, to come up with anything. They might, maybe not even have to be the same type. I'm just trying to think what else could even work as another Echo. Uh, no. Yeah, I can't really think of anyone. I'm just drawing a blank here. He's not a little plot or Pokemon, like. I guess he has Superior and Survivor, kind of? Maybe? Not really? 
I mean, they, we both snakes. We don't have a snake yet in Smash. <laughs> so it's actually, Superior would be very interesting as a character to play as. The problem, I guess, you could replace his grass based attacks with poison based attacks. Like they would pretty much be have the same exact moves, the same like, damage, except Superior would have a a grass grassy look to them, and, and Survivor would have a poisony look to them. Like, say, uh, they both have, would have, like, Iron Tail, maybe. You could both have Poison Fang, because they're both snakes. Or just Bite or Crunch. Uh, we could both have Coil. Just because they're snakes. I don't know if they can actually both learn all those moves, but just kind of looking at them. Uh, Leaf Blade could be, like, Poison... I mean, it's not really a Poison Blade. But, I don't know, it could be something similar. Leaf Storm could be just, like, Venom Shock. I don't know. That's like the only other possible pairing I could see as an Echo and a main for Gen 3 and 5. And they can make Gen 7 DLC. Because how because Gen 7 is a bit is a little bit recent, but then again, this is something with Gen 6. Last time with Good Ninja. He's like, oh I like design though, I'm gonna put him in. So who knows, maybe we get a Gen 7 one instead. And we'll, the whole Echo thing is completely thrown out. Oh, Metal Fight Master Hand, by the way. <laughs> we we got killed during the metal fight, but oh well. I'm about to fight Master right now. So if any of you guys are watching all this all the way through, which I'm pretty sure some of you are, let me know what you think about this post commentary kind of thing. Because... Because I can say a lot more stuff and talk about a lot of different things if I'm doing post commentary. And I don't have to worry about editing out certain things like in the middle of the video. I can just edit the video together, edit like all like the loading screens out, edit and the other like really slow parts aren't really doing anything, speed things up if I have to. And then once it's all edited, I can talk right over it. And for the most part try to be relevant <laughs> to the video. I mean I've been talking Smash this whole time. So <clears throat> oh god. So you know, it kinda works. <laughs> Not really though. I haven't talked about anything really happening in the video other than like the first third of it maybe. Well, I asked her to just talk about Smash Ultimate, just because I'm t excited for that Smash Ultimate, you know? I mean, I have a lot of thoughts and ideas. I've been thinking of just doing, like, a scripted thing. But considering how long I've talked about the Smash Ultimate so far, without using a script, and I'm pretty non-stop so far, I think I might just be able to do this unscripted, actually. Just talk about, like, movesets for different characters. I might be able to do that unscripted. If I can do the unscripted, that'll save me a lot of time. I mean, I might have to edit a lot of things out, like a lot of the stuttering, all the uh, me thinking, just going, ah, oh, let me think, let me think, ah, oh, what else to say, you know? But, you know, that could work. So I might actually start doing that soon, too, as a series. Smash Ultimate, I guess, speculation. Or theories, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you know, just spitballing right now, just spitballing. It's not really structured. That'd be kind of fun thing. I've been trying to do something like that, something more scripted, something more, with something a bit more production value, with more production value to it. And I have been working on something. I'm going to reveal later. I kind of just don't nothing to say now. I may briefly cover like Shadow and Isabel, but like, yeah. There's gonna be echoes that they are gonna be put in. I mean, sure, Isabel could have a more unique moveset. But, I don't know. I would rather have Tom Nook, honestly. Tom Nook would be f awesome to play as. Tom Nook would be hilarious. So, if having him just be part of the Final Smash, having him be actually be a playable character. And it was you just have the the, the, the the Nook kids, the three, yeah. No, it's just two of them, Timmy and Tommy. Never mind, I thought it was three of them. Oh, four space. Also more lag. More lag. Oh my god, the video is really just getting killed right now. Oh my god. I know that happened earlier at the beginning. Oh, there's his down B, by the way. That was horribly missed timing earlier. Yeah, Dreamer World, okay. Well, at least I mentioned his down beat. There it is, it's the rainbow thing. Like I, meant, like I said earlier, it's the rainbow thing with the Dino beams going downwards, so. Yeah. 
You know what? If Gene really does get in, which I think he will, at least we have more music come square. <laughs> That's what really matters, right? We'll get at least the Forest Maze and maybe one more from Super Mario RPG. Uh, me Boosters Palace? I remember that theme. That theme sticks in my head, too. I'm trying to think of what other music there was. There was a Toe Town. It was pretty catchy. Or just, I think I might just the general town theme. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I forget where this one plays, but... There's the, uh... I used to do the uh, Frog Pop music, too, actually. But there's a music, music track that plays in Peach's Castle board on Fortune Street. I love it that they had a remix of that one in there. That one's one of my favorites for Super Mario RPG. I just can't remember where it plays, though. That would be fun. Alright, well that's the end of the video right there, so, no, oh, after the black, there you go, now it is, now we're back to here, it's the end of the video, so if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to see more, and all this other crap you always say at the end of all these videos, it's because you need people to like and subscribe so people can know you exist, really, you know, it really does help, a lot, <laughs> like extremely, I mean, I got that one, hit of a video of the Rayman video like oh my god it's like I think actually I've reached 300 views by now I have to check them I think it did which is insane to me I actually have a video that's just 300 views it's actually not that old it's like only a month or two now maybe a month and a half that's crazy to me it's like 300 views like oh my god whatever I did for that video I need to do for all the videos <laughs> you know it's so great to actually be able to notice I got five subscribers too since I uploaded that like oh my god you know, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, I should also mention this whole post-commentary debacle is why this wasn't uploaded on Saturday. Because I kept uh, putting off recording the post-commentary. Like, oh god, damn, I don't want to feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing this. But now I actually felt like doing it and I did it. So it's being uploaded on Sunday instead. Which is, for me, tomorrow. But for you guys, we'll be, we'll be watching this right now, I guess. Or who knows, after, who knows. For you guys, it's whenever it was uploaded. <laughs> Which was a Sunday, being September 9th. I'm gonna upload it on that Sunday. Okay, what else was I saying? Just ending the video, I guess. Oh, I'm running out of time. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful time. <laughs>